What up, everybody? Just wanted to come on here and talk about the new schedule that was announced for the Big Ten for the 2024-2025 seasons. And oh, man, oh, man, there's a lot of things to talk about. Um, let's just kick it off. So they announced, I think it was yesterday, that there wasn't going to be any divisions and that they were going to make protected rivalries a thing. Um, initial thoughts of that was I thought that was a definitely, that was, I thought that's definitely a good idea. They weren't going to go to the pod scheduling. That would have been too... Um, Oh, that, won't, that won't work because they would have to pair two teams with USC and UCLA and that just wasn't ever going to happen. So I felt like this was definitely a good decision. Um, and they said that they were going to do one to three per school of protected rivalries. And I kind of figured they were going to have about three per school. Looking at this right now, about teams got about one per school, right? Um, the only one who got all three and got three protected rivalries was Iowa and Penn State actually got zero protected rivalries, so they are not going to play every any team every single year. Um, Nebraska, of course, got Iowa. I thought they might give us Wisconsin. I, I am one of those people where I don't think Wisconsin's a rival, at least not yet. But I thought they were just going to do it because they, they tried to sell the whole trophy game thing. Uh, but they ended up not doing it, and I thought they were going to be a lot more uh, generous and I thought they were going to give a lot more protected opponents. And they, they really only gave about one per school, which I thought that's good. I thought that was fine. Uh, they also came up with two play opponents, which are basically you get to play both those teams home and away for the 2024-2025 year. Every other team, you only play once um, both seasons. For Nebraska, they have – so I was a protected rival, right? We're going to play them both years, and we're going to play them in the, every year for the extended future. And then Minnesota and UCLA will play both years in 2024 and 2025. Um, definitely interesting there. Um, the one thing that definitely stands out as I look at this, Ohio State, man. Wow. I mean, and, and I say wow, not saying that they have a hard schedule. It's brutally easily, easy, right? They have Michigan as their protected rival. That's their only protected rival. Okay. And then their two, two play opponents where they're going to play both years, 2024 and 2025. Get this. Illinois in Northwestern. Like, really? Really? Are we doing this right now? We're the best team in the conference over the last 10 years, I should say, is getting really, really, really easy um, opponents. Like, uh, that's nuts. Um, but, yeah, looking at that, USC has a really hard one. They So they have UCLA as a protected rival, but they have also Penn State and Wisconsin over the next two years. That's something to watch. Um, all the others are kind of all over the place. Nothing really, um, substantial, but yeah, definitely thought the whole, that whole system was interesting, but let's take a dive into Nebraska, Nebraska specific. And let's look at their schedule. Let's start off with 2024. Cause not only is that sooner, but that's the easier of the two. And we'll talk about that very soon. So Nebraska, their away games, let's start out with the away games in 2024. And we should mention that originally, the Big Ten, before USC joined, before UCLA joined, they had they had us playing Penn State, Michigan, and Ohio State in 2024. So this is going to be a lot better. But our away games are Iowa, Northwestern, Penn State, Purdue, UCLA. Kind of a tough away slate. Going to Penn State, going to UCLA, going to Iowa. Not awesome. And then at home, we play Indiana, Michigan State, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Like, that's a hard schedule. Like, it really is. Granted, it, it's the Big Ten, right? With no divisions, we'd be lucky to get a semi-easy schedule. So that's that's something um, to watch out for. Only four home games. The home games are pretty all right. I mean, Michigan State might be on the up and up by that time. Minnesota will be tough. Wisconsin will be tough. Indiana should be a win. Um, the way, yeah, the way that's tough, man. And then we go to 2025 real quick and now this is the one that's just a lot of people on twitter talking about this <sighs> nebraska plays minnesota ohio state usc michigan and ucla all in the same year plus iowa <laughs> i mean wow and we're the only team we're the only team in the big 10 to play ohio state uh, Michigan, UCLA, and USC uh, in the same year in in this um, new scheduling for 2024 and 2025. That's nuts, and of course they do that to do that to us. Um, 
One thing that's interesting is that we don't play Penn State at all. I think that's the only team we don't play um, is, is Penn State. We don't play them at all in the next two the next two years after this year. But yeah, that's a tough schedule. And going breaking down the away games, we have Maryland, Minnesota, Ohio State, USC. That's rough as away games. And then at home, we have Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Rutgers, UCLA. A lot more manageable. Um, but still tough. We got to remember Illinois is good too. We play Illinois. Like Illinois could be a Minnesota Wisconsin like team by 2025 or 2020. Yeah, 2025. So that is um, not not awesome. And I'm not surprised they did that did that to us. Um, but yeah, looking at U USC schedule, I mean, yeah, looks looks all right. I mean. I do like the system they're going in. I think it works well for the future. Like, again, the pod system was never going to work. Unless they add more teams, which I think they will, would not be surprised to add more teams. But for right now, this system works, and I think it'll be fine. I do think it's interesting because there's only one thing I'm worried about, and it's... Okay. It's... The fact that the top two teams out of the 16 play in the Big Ten title game, right? It's going to make tiebreakers a lot harder, though. It's going to make tiebreakers a lot harder. Because let's say if there's a team... Because we never had tiebreaker problems with the West and the East because if there was ever a team with the same record, they played each other, right? Let's say Ohio State goes 12-0, okay? And Michigan goes 11-1, and let's say USC goes 11-1. But Michigan and USC don't play each other. That is going to add a lot of issues and a lot of hurt feelings about who gets that bid to go to the Big Ten title game. And that's gonna, that is going to cause a lot of um, tension. And I, I think that will probably lead to a playoff-like system within the Big Ten. I, and this is something I've been kind of hinting at with the Big Ten. I think that's where they're going to go is they're going to make a sort of a playoff for um, the Big Ten title. And I don't love that either. I don't love that. But... And it's going to happen. It will happen. It might not happen right away, but it will happen. And that'll be a problem. Um, dude, I'm just looking at these schedules, right? Uh, my laptop's right here on my left. And, dude, I just looking at Ohio State specifically, dude, their schedule is nuts easy. And they, I was just watching Big Ten Network. They're playing three group of five teams every year. Like, they're playing Marshall... They're playing like Tulsa. Like, are you kidding me? Ohio State. I'm not trying to come on Ohio State, man. I really, I'm really not. But they are like, they are like an SEC team because they refuse to schedule anybody, anybody difficult, man. They really do. But yeah, I mean, that's my initial reaction. I don't really want to go too long on here. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and kind of break down what I was thinking, go over Nebraska's schedule, go over everybody else's protected rivalries. I'll just gloss over everybody's protected rivalries one last time. Um, yeah, so Illinois has two. They're playing Northwestern Purdue. Michigan has two. They're playing uh, Michigan State and Ohio State. I mean, they start every year. Rivalries. Northwestern's playing Illinois. Records playing Maryland. Maryland's playing Rutgers. Um, Indiana, of course, playing um, Purdue, as we just said. Michigan State and Michigan. Ohio State and Michigan. USC and UCLA, um, again, Penn State gets nobody, Iowa, Iowa, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, and yeah, so very interesting, oh wait, and Purdue and Illinois, did I, I don't think I said that one. Oh no, I did, um, but yeah, so very interesting, very, very, I, I, I think the system's gonna work, I think it's a good model. As for if they screwed over Nebraska or not, I mean, they did. They did for 2025. I, It's so far in the future where it's like, eh, you know, I'm not going to go down here and have a, I'm not going to rant about it. Oh my gosh, how dare they? You know, it's too far down the road. I'll, you know, but it will be something to talk about in two years when they inevitably, um, inevitably comes back and kind of bites us in the, Bites us in the butt. So, yeah, that's just my initial reaction. Nothing too much. Um, no in-depth analysis. You know, I just saw it about 20 minutes ago. Wanted to come on here, talk about it, get the video up. And uh, if you guys have any comments about it, any frustrations perhaps, uh, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you did, in fact, uh, like the reaction. And subscribe always. I'm trying to hit 300. So uh, that would mean a lot. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.